All right, uh, hello everyone. It's Maple Stacks here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be going over how to scale in and out of a trade. So this is AMD from Friday, uh, January seventh. So going through a good rule of thumb is that uh, a lot of newer traders have a problem with this. It's just as kind of psychological uh, disconnect, right? But it's uh, we should be going long on a downtrend right a down tick and we should be going short in an uptrend right and an uptick so now that is very contextual and subjective we should only be doing that at points of strong kind of um you know possible rejection or reversal right so like up here 200 ema rejection right this is pushing up there's an area too short basing some sense of risk off of Coming down here, right, tweezer bottom, I think this was the previous day demand or demand on the daily or something. I, I've cleared the chart, but right, tweezer bottom down here, you know, a strong point to base risk off of just off of the low of the day, right? You go long on the down tick. When you go, you know, you're looking to go short on this uptick here, there's VWAP giving you, you know, giving the short an area or level to base risk off of, right? So you want to short in an uptrend right near a level of possible reversal and go long in a downtrend uh, near a point of possible reversal, of course. So let's say that you miss that, okay? You miss the very top and the bottom, which is something that's very common. Uh, I myself am not always getting the top and the bottom, right? It, don't try to force yourself to do that or trade in that manner. You will, uh, you know, go through a lot of unnecessary losses and just kind of, you know, forcing yourself to drain that mental capital uh, because, you know, maybe you miss the top or the bottom and then you just watch price action follow through uh, through the, you know, um, an upwards or downwards kind of momentum, right? But how, you know, can you scale into the trade and find yourself an entry where it is in the downtrend or the uptrend and it's not the absolute top or bottom, okay? So um, what I like to do is always be aware of what the chart is telling me as well as you know my um kind of what my indicators are telling me as well so i can see here right we're well under the 200 ema this is on the five minute chart we're under vwap and have spent majority of our time under vwap the 20 is above the nine giving me a bearish kind of sense or bearish signal um and right here the point where uh, the EMAs try to cross over, right? Show the strong rejection off of VWAP, of course. Let's say you missed that. So um, still strong EMA kind of signal here, 20 being above the nine. Now a good rule of thumb is that we want to short um, within the area between the nine and the 20, okay? And a downtrend, of course. So if you wanna start to scale in, remember, if you're a type of trader that sees this you know, you see the big rejection off VWAP and you just FOMO into the, you know, these red candles taking a put or something. Let's say that you enter down here. Okay, that is not a prime entry. Even though in hindsight it does work out, that is not how we should be trading, right? We should be trading and trying to short the upticks, right? The possible lower highs. So when this comes through, it is following my, my parameter of scaling in, okay? Shorting the uptick, a possible lower high in the trend. Okay, from this point to this point, possible lower high. Yeah, your risk is probably about this area where this upper wick is okay um also using the nine is a good dip ad and then the 20 is a is a bigger a larger dip ad right but a crucial area of support depending upon what time frame you're looking at this being a five minute chart okay so we want to scale in in between this area between the nine and the 20. so what i would do I don't know if any trade's going to work out, right? But taking into the context of the chart, I want to be able to trust my TA and my prior experiences going through trading this same kind of setup. So going through here, right? You should take a uh, initial scale in. I like to scale in a quarter at a time. Sometimes I'll scale in, you know, if I'm very confident in the trade or, or you know, the lower high that's potentially being put in, I'll take a half position, okay? So normally I'm taking feelers though. So let's say, okay, there's a feeler ad. I can see that the 20 is being rejected and no candle closing under the nine. Pretty good candle. Uh, I start to see that it's beginning to push down. So maybe you take another scale in, right? Now you have a half position, okay? You see that it comes and tests this zone, right? We don't want to short on the down tick, right? We do not want to do that. We want to short on the possible uptick. So let's say that it pops up again, just like it does here, and it still respects the short perspective 
and the trend that you were you know trading off of right this 9 and 20 EMA on the five minute you take another entry there so now you have three fourths so going through here you've gotten consecutive lower highs it's a very strong bearish trend now this is the point where you know you either do this or you or you don't right this is kind of more of an experience thing normally you can get you know a full position size but you don't always have to let's just say you get three-fourths of a position size and you take it for a nice trade down right down here to 13180 okay um, but a kind of more experiencing that you can do is that let's say you have three-fourths or maybe a half position on the breakdown of support right when it breaks through you can take an entry there okay and what that kind of does is add to the momentum you're going to you know gather the delta along the way getting paid more in the premium but you should be aware that you know you're you're ready to scale okay because normally when we're going through a trend right when we're getting lower highs and lower lows and higher highs and and higher lows right you always typically want to scale on the succession of the previous uh pivot point right in in either direction going up or down so you know in this example let's just say you take a, a short up here right and then you get this was the low you're basing off of okay you take a short up here and then you get a lower low right because it breaks this pivot so you should be scaling out around this area right just locking in some profit offloading some risk the same goes for this right in an uptrend let's say that you uh, buy long on this candle okay you're not gonna absolutely get the bottom not most people are not and not very often okay so let's say you get the higher low ad now let's say that this is the higher the current high okay remember this hasn't developed quite yet but you get a higher low ad and then you get a higher high okay from this level you should scale out offload risk lock in profit okay your job in the market is not to get the very top and the very bottom of a move your job in the market is to gather the meat of the move okay and you know what is this this is the middle of the move we don't know how far this is going to go and i don't know how long it will go so going through we have to be able to do with what is consistent in the market and consistently building our accounts okay so we do not uh, the home run trades are fun they're great right a lot of times you'll see uh you know big percent gains or whatever right and that may stray your kind of mindset when it comes to trading okay but I can tell you here right now that locking in base hits, maybe singles, you know, um, you know, 20, 30 percent, whatever is going to allow you to consistently build your account and, you know, offload risk along the way. How many times I, I've, I've gone through um, multiple trades this past week, but I, I had a trader go through and uh, I don't exactly remember what it was on. Oh, right here this day on Thursday. Right, we took a, a very prime short off of the rejection of VWAP right here, rode it all the way down. I think he said he was at like 130%. Right, but what I was doing, oh, there's a you know, there's the low support. Okay. Oh, we got a lower low. I'm scaling out. Even if it dumps all the way down, right? Scale out. That doesn't mean cut your position, scale out along the way. Oh, there's the low of that candle. Oh, another lower low. I need to scale out more. Oh, another lower low, scale out more, right? Offloading the risk, moving your stop up along the way practically. Now, what this trader did was take this trade from, you know, very prime entry up here, 130% plus on his gain, and didn't offload along the way, right? Didn't offload risk and ended up scaling out or stopping out up here for only a 30%, 20% gain, right? Whereas, you know, he just watched price action go down, money flow into his account, and watched pr price action rise up and take that money right back, right? The market has a very, you know, swift way of, you know, putting money very quickly into your account and taking it just as, you know, just as fast. So, um, you know, scaling in and out, guys, it, don't look at it as uh, over trading, but more so look at it as being able to lock in profits, offload risk, and, you know, keeping yourself within the trend and, uh, you know, living to fight another day. So um, I hope that this video helps, right? If you guys have learned anything, please post what you learned in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future topics that you would like me to cover, um, also post that in the comment section below. So thank you guys for tuning in um, and you guys enjoy the rest of your day.